Let's paint a cheetah. Take your spray bottle, spray your pans of paint, and put some water in your palette. In this lesson, I use a photograph as a model, and here it is. This is one that my husband took on a trip to Africa several years ago. Let's start with our liner brush and use some yellow ochre. Now, the cheetah is lean and tall, and let's sketch the figure of the cheetah. Let's start about right here and go up along the back, and this is the side view of the cheetah. And there's part of the ears. And then the face comes around. And down. And then out. Now, the breast of the cheetah is very light and there's some white. So I wanna make this light and then come down and start forming the two front legs of the cheetah. Like about right there and then make a line where the breast is starting and then the other leg starts. And this is helping me get some guidelines on where I'm going to put some more color. And I like doing this versus using a pencil. I find when using a pencil on watercolor paper, you go to erase it, it will leave marks. Okay, so let's work on the back leg. You don't really see both of them. You'll see one of them. So let's make a form of the thigh and then just come down. The foot's gonna be covered with grass. Let's spread a little bit of this color on the back, a little bit towards the leg. Again, we wanna leave some white where it's sticking the breast out. And a little bit below the chin of where the face is. And let's spread some of this color on the face. Like that. Let's give it a good dry. When working on the face, I don't want the color to bleed so much. And so I'm going to dry the paint. Let's work on the, the face. We will start to form the, the eye and on the cheetah, there's some very clear markings around the face, a little bit above the eye, but first we're gonna form the eye and then below the eye, there's one that comes down and around, kind of like a S shape like that. Now we want this to be a little darker color, so let's use both our browns, Burnt Umber and Burnt Sienna. Maybe a little bit more of the 
burnt umber to have it a little bit of a darker color. So the eye starts about right here. So right below the eye is that mark and it swerves like that. And then above the eye, there's some of those dark marks like that. Now, here is the nose, and on the other side of the nose, you see part of the eye. So I'm gonna make that there, like that. And then the nose comes down here. I wanna make this color a little darker. So we'll make a darker color, and we'll mix both our browns and ultramarine blue. And make the nose. The nose is going to be a little bit darker. And it's a little bit of a triangle shape. Okay. Go ahead and clean your brush. And let's use some burnt sienna. Now I have a little yellow ochre on my palette and I'm just going to add it to that mixture there. So this is the yellow ochre and the burnt sienna. And there's some of that color on the back of the cheetah. And a little bit up and around the face. Put some on the nose, spread it down below. Some more underneath the chin there, onto the legs. Both the legs there. And some on the leg here. Need to add a little more mixture there. Spread it all over there. A little bit more on the leg here. Now I'm going to give it a dry. I might just use my brush here and lighten that by just using my brush. You can dry your brush and then stroke over the paint and that will lighten it a little bit itself by just doing that. That's looking pretty good. And let's do a little more over here. Let's give it a good dry, because then we're going to add those spots. Those spots that help them hide from their prey. So these spots are really dark. So again, we'll use our burnt umber, burnt sienna, and ultramarine blue. Need to wet my brush more to get more paint. I want it to be a little thicker. That's looking that's looking pretty good. And then let's add some of those spots. I find it's easier to start at the back and then go up. And they're different sizes, so make some larger and some smaller. 
They're not all the same size. And then load your brush as needed. Let's put some more spots around the face and the ear, some below here, and let's, you want to dilute that color and just put a little bit of a shadow like that, still leaving some white. That's looking pretty good. I like my little fast cheetah. It's sitting there deciding, hmm, when am I going to have for dinner for now? Watching and waiting. Okay. Now let's add some grass. It's hiding in tall grass. And the grass, let's use our bigger brush, our round with pointed tip brush. And we want to, let's start with some sap green. And put some of that tall grass. It's pretty tall, just... sporadically over on spots there. Now, you might notice that it ran here a little bit, but that's okay. I don't think it detracts from the painting. And just a little bit off to the side, a little below, like that. Now let's add another color, some Cadmium yellow. There's some yellow grass that is peeking out. And then let's use some burnt sienna. Plain burnt sienna. Tall grass peeking in there. Then we need one more dark color, but let's give it a quick dry before we do that. I don't want the dark color to run. Use both our browns, and there's some dark grass in there. Just a few little ones peeking out there. Just like that. Now let's switch brushes. And I want to make some of the features on the face darker, like the nose is dark here. I want to make a dark spot on the eyes and a dark mark here on the face. So to make that dark mixture, we add our burnt sienna, burnt umber, and ultramarine blue.
So let's make the eye a little darker. That's better. A little bit over here. And the mark on its face a little darker. And the nose. Now I'm just adding a little water and I want to add a little dark spot on its ear, about right like that. A little more over here. Now I want to stop, stop. And I just want to put a little, little marks like the whiskers are there. Just some little ones like that. And then step back, look at it. And I like my cheetah there looking for his dinner. They are so fast and fascinating to watch. Have a great day. Thanks for joining me today.